when I was three years old, my dad started me, and you know, I don't really remember much between like three to six of what I was doing, but um, when I turned seven is really when I decided that I really loved jujitsu and wanted to continue doing it because that's when um, our academy started really focusing on Brazilian jiu-jitsu and we started competing more and I realized that I loved the competitions and everything to do with jiu-jitsu. Just juvenile, so like um, 15 turning 16 and 16 turning 17, I am ranked number one for the Opens, so that's all like the state championships basically. and. Um, I'm not sure what I am ranked for Juvenile 2, which is what I am right now, but in just plain Juvenile, I am number one. My daughter uh, is dedicated to this pretty much full time. She has homeschooled since she was probably in about second grade. Being homeschooled has allowed us to compete more regularly than maybe a public school child would be able to because you can't get off the days and make up the work like we're able to do. We've competed in a lot of states over the past year. So when we first started competing, like my first one was in Charleston. Um, I was able to get double gold in that one. And then we realized that there was rankings. And so we, um, me and my family decided that it'd be really cool if I was able to get the number one ranking. So we started going all over the world and um, competing in different states. And I've won basically in every state that I have competed in. Um, just a couple of them I have been um, edged out and beat, but I've come back the following months or year and been able to get my win back. Well, when I was younger in competition, like with local ones, I had to fight a lot of dudes because they never had females usually because it wasn't very popular. So I had to fight a lot of boys and um, I can't quite remember how many I've beat, but um, it's always fun to be able to beat a boy because they think that they're going to win. I just love the fight of jiu-jitsu, like having to train and test your skills against different people all over the world. I think it's very cool to um, see what you do and like have a game in jiu-jitsu and then try it against people who are from different countries even and see if you can um, like outplay them and get your wins. And I think that's really fun. She just works so hard, you know, at everything she does because it's tough being a small town. It's really hard because here she may have three partners that are near her size and maybe not quite to her skill level because no one was able to dedicate the time she did. But when we go to like worlds, the girls she fights from Brazil, from Spain, from California, uh, those girls have maybe maybe 30 girls in there, a group that all has been homeschooling since they were young, the parents are behind it, um, and then they might have five black belt women that are young that's maybe moved over from Brazil and they're training there, and so those girls get pushed by those people. And so we have to compete a lot so we can feel that level of talent. And nothing makes you stronger than doing everything you can do right and still falling short of your goal. <laughs> so I think my best memories are always even when, because I haven't got my win yet in the biggest competitions, I haven't been able to edge out um, the win, but it's always great to um, be able to go back to my family after the losses and just like the comfort of all my team that um, was with me there. Um, those are probably the best memories. And also in the local ones, like or not local, but around the states, you know, the opens that we have done. Um, my team is sometimes there, but it's mostly my family and just seeing like how happy they are to be able for me to be able to get my wins. So I graduate next week and since um, my jiu-jitsu career is going pretty well and I really love it, I think I'm going to take a gap year and just train all I can and see um, if I can get my world titles, which I think I will be able to. And during that gap year, I probably will find some online courses to take, um, online college courses, and try to get a business degree of some sort. I haven't decided quite which business degree I want to go into yet, but I just feel like a business degree is a good thing to get um, to help run the gym, even with my brother when we get older. And so um, that's my plans as of right now. These kids learn that at such a young age, they're not going to be shocked with the normal 
adult things that start happening, they're just going to say, okay, it didn't work out. I don't change my dream. I don't change my goal. I change my approach. And they're going to go back to the drawing board and they're going to fix it and they're going to come back again and they're going to come back again. And we always teach them here that it's not just about always getting back up. It's what are you going to do different when you get back up? And I've watched her do that so many times. It's been beautiful to see her be able to handle that because in the beginning, you know, it would get her real upset, you know, when she was, and then it would be hard to get over it. And then she'd be really upset at herself and hard to, hard to deal with it. And then she started getting more mature with it, more mature with it, more mature. And I've seen her really grow over the years to where now she realizes it's a process. It's not a destination. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. You get back up and you do it again. But there's no doubt in my mind she'll get her goal. She'll get it. A huge thank you to businesses like Direct Metal Structures and Premier Metal Structures who support me by sponsoring me, which helps me travel.